Hey guys, Jenny here for Cinecam.net and there is no time to chit chat. You guys ask like crazy for the Godzilla music video from Eminem and here we go! First we are going to remove the mount of Lorenzo. In After Effects duplicate your layer, freeze frame the duplicate in the beginning and paint the mount away with the clone stamp tool. Make sure that the duration of your clone stamp is set to constant so your painting will be visible over the entire length of the clip. After painting use Mocha CC to track the original shot and Mocha make the tracking mask around the mount and hit analyze. After it's done save and close Mocha. Back in After Effects go to the effect control panel and create the track data. Next duplicate the original Lorenzo. Now with the puppet tool place 5 points on the removed mount layer. Then with alt clicking on the puppet pins you can parent every puppet tool point with the tracking point from the duplicate Lorenzo. Parent every point with the right one, left top with left top and so on. Then select the two duplicates and pre-comp them. Finally draw a mask around the mount, maybe even scale and position the layer a little and feather it all. And this will leave you with a perfect remove mount that stretches with every movement. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Mm. Boom! One down, four to go! Next up is fire breathing. Again duplicate your shot and make an animated mask around the mount. Shorten the clip to only the part where the mount opens. Add the Lumetri effect to the duplicate and make it super orange and bright. Then also add the CC light burst effect and place the center behind the mount. Now motion track your original shot. Take a stock clip and place it over the actor's mount and link it to the track null. Animate the scale of the flame so that it comes in and out and use the screen blending mode. As an extra touch let's give the flame some movement. Add the wave warp effect to the flame shot. Increase the wave height to around 100, the wave width to around 8000, choose the direction, set the wave speed to 1.5 and set the pinning to right edge. And if you can you can always add force motion blur to finish it all. Up to the next one, the big eye effect. Motion track the eyebrow of your actor. This way the tracking won't go crazy when he blinks. But it also gives a problem. The null object is not on the place we want it to be, the eye. So select the position property of the null and now you can move the null and every keyframe at the same time to the eye. Look for the bulge effect and drag that to the clip. Tweak the settings to your likings. Then alt click on the bulge sensor stopwatch and parent the bulge sensor to the position of the null object. Boom! One big eye effect. <gasps> Godzilla challenge, can you spit faster than Eminem? Well, yes, I can. I bet you can't. <gasps> Thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. On Storyblocks, you can find all you need both in HD and 4K. Whether it's an overlay, VR shots, full motion clips, lower thirds, backgrounds, or FX templates, which are completely customizable. Aerials, animals, business, people, nature, time lapse, technology, logo reveal, green screen, food, beverages, places, sports, transportation, abstract, fire, water, music, particles, space, religion. <gasps> Did I mention photo presentations, slideshows, topography, Apple Motion templates, and a lot of collections that make it super easy to work with? You use it almost every week, and the best part is it's only one price per year for unlimited downloads. So make sure to click that first link in the description down below. Woo! Damn, they have a lot of stuff. Guys, seriously, click that first link in the description down below and download everything from that Storyblocks library. We are spitting, guys! Just like Lorenzo in the next practical effect. For this, we need vomit. We made ours with flour, water, and food dye. And of course Legos. Then make two shots, one where the actor pretends to vomit and one green screen shot of the vomit. In post production place the actor clip on track number one and the green screen shot on track number two. Key out the green and draw a mask around the vomit and the contours of the actor's face. Of course animate the mask so that it follows along with the actor. <laughs> Last one guys, we're going to make it! First 3D track your shot. Set the floor as the origin and create a camera. Now look for the stock clip of a 3D ground crack. You can make it yourself but the internet has enough for everybody. Make the crack clip 3D, place it on the floor where your foot hits the ground. Now pre-comp the crack layer at the camera and give that pre-comp the multiply blending. Of course the foot needs to be on top. So duplicate the original clip on top of everything and mask out your foot for a few frames. There are ways to make it easier with keying techniques but these don't always work. It depends on your environment. Now add some smoke and debris stock clips on the impact of the foot to make it look better. The last thing is to animate the crack so that it comes in. Create a mask around it and animate the expand property so the crack opens up when the foot hits the ground. And that was it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks video for the support. And like always, stay creative. Beep, beep, beep.